Every expert has said that anybody who wants health care under my plan will be able to obtain it. Uh, President Clinton's own Secretary of Labor has said that my plan does more to reduce costs and, as a consequence, make sure that the people who need health care right now all across Ohio, all across Texas, Rhode Island, Vermont, all across America will be able to obtain it. And we do more to reduce costs than any other plan that's been out there. Now, I have no objection to Senator Clinton thinking that her approach is superior, but the fact of the matter is, is that if, as we've heard tonight, we still don't know how Senator Clinton intends to enforce a mandate, and if we don't know the level of subsidies that she's going to provide, then you can have a situation, which we're seeing right now in the state of Massachusetts, where people are being fined for not having purchased health care, but choose to accept the fine because they still can't afford it, even with the subsidies. And they are then worse off. They then have no health care and are paying a fine Thank above you. and beyond that. That is a genuine difference between myself and Senator Clinton. And the last point I would make is the insurance companies actually are happy to have a mandate. The insurance companies uh, don't mind making sure that everybody has to purchase their product. That's not something they're objecting to. The question is, are we going to make sure that it is affordable for everybody? And that's my goal when I'm President of the United Senator. States. We don't want to put in a situation in which, on the front end, we are mandating them, we are forcing them to purchase insurance, and if the subsidies are inadequate, the burden is on them and they will be penalized. And that is what Senator Clinton's plan does. Now, I am, I am happy to have a discussion with Senator Clinton about how we can both achieve the goal of universal health care. What I do not accept, uh, and which is what Senator Clinton has consistently done, and in fact, the same experts she cites basically say there's no real difference between our plans, that, are not, that they are not substantial. But it has to do with how we are going to achieve universal health care. That is an area where I believe that if we make it affordable, people will purchase it. In fact, Medicare Part B is not mandated. It is voluntary, and yet people over 65 choose to purchase it, Hillary. And the reason they choose to purchase it is because it's a good deal. And if people in Cleveland or anywhere in Ohio end up seeing a plan that is affordable for them, I promise you they are snatching it up because they are desperate to get health care, and that's what I intend to provide as Senator. president.